So you'd carry the dolls and, you know, I'd play with them. But my mom would always get so mad. It, it came to a point that it got so bad that she had to get rid of them. <laughs> What's good, everyone? Welcome back to the Posted Podcast. I am the Postman. We got Mo Martinez, Rose, and Lo. And sitting on the floor over there, we got Brother Jose. The first five years of my life, I lived in Modesto. And um, I remember having these triplet dolls. They were the cutest oh. thing. They were triplets. Uh, dolls. They were little baby dolls. But you know what? I'm, I was very particular about the dolls that I had in my house. Was it like porcelain dolls? No. Okay. I don't fuck with porcelain mm-hmm. dolls. No. <laughs> Nor do I like dolls with glass eyes. Because, again, yeah. if, if, you're, if you're considering energy, where is energy most stuck onto? The eyes. The eyes see everything. The eyes sense. You can read into multiple different things with your eyes. Mm -hmm. Um, Same thing with like your third eye. That's a whole different topic we can probably get into later. But just like glass eyes are the same thing for the dolls, it's similar to a mirror. What's going to attract to that type of natural substance? Energy. Mm -hmm. So it's all energy infused, right? Okay. So that's one thing. Never had those dolls. Never wanted them. I absolutely, when I would see them at my grandma's house, I'd be like, hell no, behind that. I don't want to sleep in the same room. Anyways, so I had these triplet dolls. It was given to me, I think, for like Christmas. That must have been four or five. Cutest little things. I used to love playing with them. They would have the buttons on the back where they would... (laughs) Oh, God. Oh, Ah, no. ah. Like, you know, just like Fuck little that. crying sounds. Fuck. And- <laughs> swag. 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 <laughs> it's a badass though, swag. Right? So, you know, I'd have them on and my like room was like just... BMX. <laughs> 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 so they'd be chilling in my closet and my mom would just kind of, she'd put my toys away, you know, I'd go to sleep and she would always hear shit in my room. And that goes, it goes back to me being like the little sensitive child that I was and seeing things and just being super, um, attached to my mom. Like I was her freaking chicle. I was stuck to her. I would never leave her side. Somebody would look at me. I'd be like, "Ah, don't look at me. Right. But she would hear the dolls go off at night and she even took out the batteries. Oh, Chucky. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Chuck you all over and here. mind you these little shits were this big they were so small but there was three of them and they had a little carrier that i would hold oh, and squad, it would get wrapped bro. around me and i would be able to hold them and they were like my little baby dolls so you'd carry the dolls and you know i'd play with them but my mom would always get so mad it, it came to a point that it got so bad that she had to get rid of them and she's like but by the time i was maybe five, she she said, oh, I'm sorry. They they flew off the truck when we moved because I came to Redwood City. And so I, I was sad, but I said, oh, okay, well, maybe the fish will like it because <laughs> I could just picture them flying off the bridge. Yeah. And so I'm like, oh, so sad. But she got rid of those shits. That's like oh. Annabelle. But Annabelle, they throw it in the trash and it comes back. Oh, oh so that happened to the Ouija board. You did? You had a Ouija board? I didn't. I think my uncle did. Oh, and my mom shit. said that they threw it away and it kept it kept coming back into the house. Oh. And she'd be like, who the fuck keeps bringing this now? That, like, my household, my whole family, yeah. totally against playing that thing. Like, that is just one thing. Who, who got it? Like, who, like My uncle, my uncle, got, my uncle, like, the way I see my, it. he's my godfather. <clears throat> he's um the only person that I would actually, like... They would leave me at my grandma's house and I would be attached to his leg going, bye mom. Cause I was so happy to be with my uncle. He would always take us to Toys R Us. He would always get us pizza and we'd be like movie galore. And so it was always a good time staying with my Nino and my mom's youngest sister who her, my brother and I, we all grew up together. Yeah. So it was always the three amigos and my godfather. Three and so, yeah, he would have all the toys, like name it, all the the thrillers all every single scary movie that i probably don't like is because of him. you watched it there yes. <laughs> shout out to you. shout out to kiki <laughs> for that one but no yeah so yeah he had a ouija board or somebody did in the house and i think at some point they tried to get rid of it family and, night yeah fuck that my and, and so like 
that was just very much like you play with that you're gonna get your ass beat you cannot play with that that's not allowed and especially me being the sensitive seeing my mom said you absolutely you see that leave the room you do not play with that and i said okay you know i obeyed i saw somebody play it once and i was just like i gotta go i gotta go they're like why are you scared and i'm like no i'm not scared i just i have to go yes bitch. because i'm not gonna fucking tell you it must have been like eight or nine i was like i'm not gonna tell you i'm scared but i'm not allowed to play with that and my mom said there's a reason i'm gonna listen to my mom but mi mami dijo que no my mama never... <laughs> <laughs> with the missing teeth <laughs> but no yeah that was one thing we weren't allowed to play with did were you guys ever brave enough to do the um the bloody mary in the mirror nah i did it in a short film did you really? I mean, well, the kids did it. I just filmed it. Oh, you filmed savage, it? bro. That was well, shady, bro. You're like, yeah, y'all gonna do this. I'm yeah. gonna just film I'm gonna what watch happens. it. Oh, <laughs> I have it somewhere. I still have it, like, on my old laptop or something. Oh, insert clip here. I'll, I'll okay. show y'all later if I can find it. You had kids do it? Mm-hmm. Who are these? So, well, it was at my old job. Um, so, every Thursday, we would have to... We, we, we came up with our own club. And when I first started there, it wasn't where we work now, though. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, I think I know where. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Tell me. <laughs> no. Chill out, bro. Chill out, chill out. <laughs> back in, like, 2010 or something. Back in the day. Um, so, my first day there, my boss told me every Thursday we have our own clubs that you just do whatever you want. So, you come up with anything. I said, what about, like filming videos she's like we've never done that but if you could do it go ahead like go have fun and that's what i did okay out of all the things you could have filmed you <laughs> said i mean i filmed other things but 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 that's that's the horror Was that the halloween film. special that's the halloween special uh, i'm not brave enough to it was do less it. complicated back then bro yeah Kids were, Kids, Kids were tough. Kids were tough. Less political. Yeah. No, I was still soft. I'm not going to do that shit. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. I didn't even do that. Soft. I was like, no way. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Little bad bitch. <laughs> you know what? I have another story. Well, this is, this is a quick one. At that same job, um, I've like accidentally st- have done stuff that I think I, I would get like in trouble for. Like, for example... Um, for example, there's like this kid who wanted me to push him on the swing. So I like I pushed a little too hard and that, that kid flew off. Like it, it was you know You knew damn well you pushed too hard. <laughs> and so I, I thought I thought my boss was gonna be like, bruh, like what are you doing, right? Yeah. Or just whatever. Uh and and other things. And I'm I always think I'm just gonna get in trouble, but you know, my boss was cool. Shout out to Shout out to Mary. <laughs> Shout out to Mary. Uh, but one time, um, I had I had my class. I had like third grade, I think. And so I was telling them a story that a kid died in that classroom. <laughs> what kind of I, was, I, I forgot what the story what a great was. Great mentor. <laughs> what a great guy. I, I forgot what the story was, but it ended up with, it's a true story. And a kid died in that class. Yeah, fired. Bro. And so then at the end, I told them, like, I'm just kidding. It's it a story. Happened. It never happened. Okay. After you traumatized him? It's hard. just. <laughs> it's just <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. JK. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just fucking with you. Snotty nose oh, crying. I was just kidding, though. And so I thought that was the end of that, right? So then we go back into the, the gym because I was, like, the main, the, the main uh, spot. And so, <laughs> my boss, shout out to Mary, she walks by me, and she just has, like, this mad look on her face. Like, I've never seen her mad. Yeah. And then she just goes like this. No, no, no. And I'm, tumble. Like, I'm like, what? Like, what <laughs> happened? <laughs> and then so she talks to me later. She's like, did you tell your class that a kid died in the classroom? <laughs> <laughs> You're so- uh, and I'm like, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Before you get into the rest of that. I told her. Right? I said, uh, at the end, I told them all. I was just kidding. What happened was one of the uh, one of the little girls I was in the class was crying. And she went to go tell Mary. Uh, she went to go tell her. 
that she was just had like she, she, got, she got scared. She, poor girl. I guess she didn't hear me tell her that it was, uh, it was a joke. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Mary. But that was that was hey, the Mary. only time she's ever have has been mad at me or that I ever got in trouble. Like I, like, I remember leaving a knife out one time, <laughs> and I thought I was gonna get in trouble for that because I because I had to cut some like bagels or something. Yeah. And then I had to go pick up my kids, so I, I left all the stuff on the table I was working at. And then one of my other coworkers came up to me. She was like, you're in trouble because you left a knife out and Mary's mad at you and just blah, 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 whatever. And then when I went up to Mary, like, to... She's like, oh, okay. She's like, oh, yeah, just just next time, don't, don't do leave that. it there. Don't do yeah. it, man. No big deal. <laughs> Shout out to Mary. The hey, best, Mary. The best ones. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> out of all the things, it was... <laughs> It was because it was that. Uh, it was died. Uh, and I Poor girl probably didn't want to go back in that classroom. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching another episode of the Posted Podcast. I am the Postman. We got Mo Martinez, Brose, and Lo. And up on the couch, stunning Daniel. He ain't doing nothing. He was asleep. He laying down. Catching Pokemon. But shout out to him. Shout out to him, anyways. Yes, sir. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace out and stay posted.